Welcome to Unfiltered Waters. I'm Missy Franklin. And I'm Katie Hoff. We're giving you genuine conversations to get to know the person beneath the athlete. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. All right, you guys, we're doing it. We are doing it. (laughs) We are so excited to announce, to give you your first very short little trailer episode of Unfiltered Waters by Missy and Katie. Unfiltered Waters. (laughs) We have put so much work into this and this next 15, 20 minutes is essentially just going to be a little behind the scenes of how we got started, the process of putting together a podcast, which is <clears throat> a little bit harder than it is. <laughs> a little harder than when I first thought, like anything. When, you know, Katie just, you know, walked up and was like, hey, want to start a podcast? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Sounds great. Yeah. Like anything, I have so much respect for podcasters and videographers and producers and All people who do this for a long time. But so we are so excited. We already have just the most amazing guests lined up. We've already filmed several episodes and they've been going so well, like surpassed all the expectations already that I've had. But we want to tell you guys a little bit about why we're doing this, I think, as well. We want you to understand, you know, why this is important to us and why we decided that this is something that we feel like is going to have value and add to the space because there is such incredible media outlets there already. Katie and I have worked with them a ton, particularly in the swimming space. But we felt like we had something that we could add to that as well that we're really excited about and that we hope you guys love and enjoy as much as we do. Yeah. I mean, I think like when I first, so we'll give you, we'll, we'll run it back. We'll give you the story of how this all started. Mm -hmm. And shockingly, this happened, I mean, August, August. Um, so yeah, we're recording this in November, right before Thanksgiving. So it's literally been four months, four months since start conception recording. Yes. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I'll get, I, I basically went to this crazy, uh, intensive, uh, in July and I have been, I I don't say isolated, but removed from the swimming world Mm -hmm. for a while and just came back and, I just had this like epiphany. Like I was literally in my bathroom and we were about to go, we were about to go meet you guys and Kate at the pool. And I was like, I miss, I miss the swimming community. I miss the swimming world. Um, Truly like getting to know athletes that are swimming now and athletes that have, I swam with. And I just like, I just feel like Missy and I, I feel like you and I have such a good yin and yang Mm -hmm. of just our strengths and we compliment each other. And I was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to text her. Like, I'm just going (laughs) to see, you know, if, if she, I was so nervous, honestly, I was just like, okay, like I'm going to text you. Do you want to do this with me? And then I'm going to let her have like 30 outs in case you didn't want to do it. It was 30 (laughs) outs. I think you actually (laughs) gave me 30 outs of like, so here's the idea, but no worries if not, no worries if not. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like 30 paragraphs of no worries if not, Um, but you, you text me back. I'll never forget in all caps. Yes. And at that point, I feel like we didn't realize that we were entering into like a business. Um, and that's just been, I mean, from meeting at coffee houses to figuring out producers to figuring out our sign, our set. Which is just a whole story. (laughs) A whole story. This was almost eight feet, eight feet long. It's supposed to be lit up, but we haven't quite figured that out yet. So we're working on it and it might be eventually replaced. So don't get too attached to the sign. Even though we're really attached to it. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, and I, I feel like the, I mean... To me, like you mentioned, we have had, honestly, the pleasure of working with so many outlets have mm-hmm. given us the opportunity to share our stories and and share on a vulnerable level. I think what has inspired both of us, and I want to speak for you, but what has inspired me is between the two of us, like I think if one of us did this, it would still be great. But I think there's just this power in both of our experiences combined from four Olympics, you know, 
four, eight, 12, 16, we've got them covered. <laughs> and, and just, you know, we've had very similar shared experiences, mm-hmm. but very different experiences. And so I know that when I sit down with someone and I can relate to them on a deeper level. So any, any guests that we have being able to see, like, I see you, right. I've been there. I understand. Totally. And so making them feel comfortable that they can actually share on a deeper level and share beyond the sport. Right. Mm-hmm. I think that's the biggest thing that we feel is we, yes, we want to talk about the swims and the ready room and, and all of the fun behind the scenes in swimming, but getting to know the athlete on who they are beneath that, right? Beneath the sport and what do they enjoy and what are they passionate about? And do they, are, are they playing in a band, right? All of those things that make them the whole them. Absolutely. And giving them things that they want to speak about as yes. well. Like I felt, again, as you said, I've worked with unbelievable media outlets. But I think it's really special to be asked before an interview, what would you like to talk about? Like, what is something that is important to you? What are things that you're interested in? And let us give you a space to really kind of not only just be part of the conversation, but help lead it. Yeah. And I think one of both of our strengths, and I love how you said it before, because we've said it several times to each other that our strengths and weaknesses really balance each other out super, super well. But I think one strength that we share is vulnerability. Yes. And I think that that's so crucial in these conversations. We're not expecting every single conversation to be like, move you to tears, change your life, rock your world. (laughs) We want to give every conversation that opportunity, you know, and if it gets to that point, awesome. If it's a lighter, more fun conversation. Yeah. Awesome. You know, like we're just here for wherever these conversations go. And I think something else that's really cool too is going back even further is you and your husband, Todd, just moved to Nashville about 10 months ago yeah. now. Feels like 10 years. I know. It feels like you guys <laughs> have been here forever. And my husband, Hayes, and I moved to Nashville almost two years ago now. And so I remember when I first heard that you guys were moving here, And I was so excited, but I was also like a little bit nervous. Were you? (laughs) Okay, I have not heard you say this. I was, I was, because like our swimming careers were just kind of like passing ships a little bit. I know. Right? So we were on a couple teams together in 10 and 11, but I always looked up to you so much that I was always a little intimidated. (laughs) Oh my God. I'm like getting, I'm too embarrassed now. (laughs) I like really wanted you to like me. Stop! I'm gonna start crying. So when you guys are moving here, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is really amazing to have this opportunity of, you know, being able to ne- connect with someone that you have this shared experience that a lot of people don't have. Yeah. You were together for a little bit of it, but now you're kind of meeting again at such a different point in your life. Yes. I, I think I almost. I knew what this was going to turn into. And so it was kind of some of that like excited, like I just had that feeling that, okay, I really genuinely feel like the two of us have been brought together at this point in our lives for a reason. And we've obviously just had like the best time with you guys over the last several months. But it's so cool for this podcast in particular, because it's not like we've been best friends for two decades. Like we're genuinely getting to know each other on these deeper levels with our audience and with our guests, which I think gives it just that layer of authenticity that makes it really special. (sighs) I don't even know what to say for that. I'm going to start. <laughs> I mean, I have more things to say, but I want to roll it back. I actually, I felt similarly. Like yeah. I, I remember, and we, we t- we'll talk about this, but Hayes kind of coming back into our lives when we were living in Chicago. Yeah. And I remember, sp- I, I can picture the exact scene right now. We were sitting down, we were having deep dish pizza in Chicago. So good. And he was like, you and Missy need to know, know each other, not Mm -hmm. just like passing ships and like, you need to know each other. And I was like, yeah, she seems awesome. And like, you know, (laughs) she's super nice. She's super super nice. But like, obviously we hadn't, we hadn't connected like that because how could Mm -hmm. we, right? Like it's just so, so quick and we didn't, you know, we weren't on a lot of teams together. And I think something some people don't even know, like you're on a team together. It's such a quick thing. Like you, you're, you have camp, everyone's in a pressure cooker. It's really hard to get to know people. And you already have some established friendships as well. So obviously we're all getting to know each other well, Yeah. but you do have friends on the team that you are pretty close with to begin with as well, that you spend kind of more of your time with. And, and so we, yeah, it was a little bit of 
some events together, yeah. doing some things at camps. I honestly remember most racing you. Like those were my memories with you. Like yeah. I remember the races that I had against you again because I was like always so excited to race you. <laughs> I know I remember and we're totally getting off topic but whatever this is fun uh I just remember you having the rookie skit oh my god and that was 2011 worlds uh-huh. and being like you're like oh I think I was like oh Missy like what are you gonna do and you were like I'm gonna dance and I was like oh okay. interesting that choice is- <laughs> interesting knowing all summers and how uncoordinated we are and like usher oh my god comes on and like something just like came over you and I was I like I honestly don't even <laughs> Oh, I remember because I was I like, I out. you just had this like confidence and force. And I was like, who is this? Like I had met you in 2010, but I was like, who is this? And you rocked. And now I'm not even surprised, but like, <laughs> now we've been to a few weddings yeah, together. Like, I'm like, so, yeah. makes sense. You know what to expect. But I was just like, who is this girl? And like, I mean, in front of everybody, right? Like coaches, like athletes, like for those of I feel like a lot of people talk about the rookie skits, but it's very intimidating. It's so intimidating. You have to get up there. You have to make a skit. You're supposed to make people laugh. And it's in front of like, I remember doing an 04 in front of my, I, like Jenny Thompson, I had a poster on my wall and I'm like, oh, now I'm going to do a skit in front of her, embarrass myself. Cool. 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 <laughs> so the fact that you did that and you just owned it, like that was my, I'm like, okay, okay. I can roll with this girl. <laughs> like she is so cool. But Going, moving ahead to like when we moved here. Yeah. Like I just, I felt like we both are in a, and this is why the podcast makes so much sense. I don't think even if two years ago, I don't think either of us would be in a spot where we could actually authentically speak about our experiences, connect in the way we've connected, connect with our guests. Like it's just Mm -hmm. like, it's just the timing is, it's rare in life that you can actually stop and go, wow, like, this is meant to be and I'm in this moment and this is, it's just the stars are aligning. And so I just feel so grateful that it's just all lined up because it's just mm-hmm. meant to be. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah. And I'm, we're still approaching it from such a space of we have come so far and yes. we do feel so ready to do this, but we are still learning yes. and growing, right? Yes. Like we're definitely not sitting here like, We've got all the answers. I'm We've set. got it all figured out. Yeah. <laughs> We're both very open and, you know, no, like this is what we struggled with and here's how we worked on it and here's the progress we've made and we know there's still more to make. And I think yep. that's so much of what this podcast is going to be about is it's not perfection, it's progress. Yes. And with every guest that we talk to, with every episode that we have with just us, how do we get that progress that we're looking for? And we're going to dive in. <laughs> <laughs> so many puns. We're going to dive into so many different topics and that's what I'm so excited about. So we will have a mix of episodes that are just Katie and I. And once we get more established, we'd love to get, you know, your guys' thoughts on topics that you want us to talk about, things you want us to cover. We have some great ideas and things from our history and experience that we really want to talk about. We'll obviously have lots of guests on. As I mentioned, we've already recorded several and they've been going so well. We've got so many lined up. And our plan is to start in the swimming space, of course, yep. because that's what we know. That's our space. That's where we have a lot of still really close relationships with some of the best athletes yeah. in the world, which is such a gift. But I think for us, you know, North Star, there's really no ceiling for this podcast and for what it does. I think we would love to eventually down the line have athletes from other sports, yeah. potentially have other people just in the wellness space, other professionals. Maybe we bring on sports psychologists or nutritionists, you know, anything essentially that's going to make an impact. Yeah. That's what I feel like you and I want to do is make an impact. And we've both been on such an individual journey of what does that impact look like and how do we want to make it? And unfiltered waters is our answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A hundred percent. Yeah, I think like you hit it, the being a destination for people to come if they need, I mean, anything, right? If they want to hear a story of what it's like to be in the Olympic final ready room, or if they're struggling with their mental health, how is this athlete handling it? Or how is this sports psychologist talking about it? Like, Mm -hmm. I just want to be that almost like comfort blanket where someone can tune in each week, listen, gain value, get to know athletes. And, and I think ultimately we, you and I talk about this all the time, but when you're young and you're growing up and you're looking at, or I think anyone, when you are a grown up, you look at a professional athlete or someone and you put them on this pedestal Mm. and 
everyone, I mean, we've seen themes already come up. Everyone's going through the same struggles. Everyone's fighting. Everyone's having to battle. Mm -hmm. And that needs to be told more because I think that makes people feel like they're not alone. Mm -hmm. I think it makes people feel like they have community and, and that, that is what we're all about and why we, why we started this. Absolutely. And that's, I think what is going to make the stories that are told here so powerful Yeah, is again, that authenticity, that honesty and that vulnerability from us, but also from all the guests that we have on. I think yeah. it's a bonus that we're going into an Olympic year. There's already going to be so much excitement around the sport and I think that's another thing we want to do is also continue to bring excitement and engagement to the sport as a whole and to these athletes in particular. We know how amazing they are. We want the world to know how amazing they are. We want people to really get that connection with them so that when we see them next summer, we are cheering our hearts out for them. And we also know that this is their favorite thing to do away from the pool. And this is what they're studying in school. And this is their favorite part about the sport. Like it's so special when you're watching someone having that deeper understanding and feeling like you're connected to them in a way that maybe you wouldn't have had otherwise. And so for us to kind of be liaisons in that connection is a huge honor first and foremost. Like we feel so grateful to be able to do this, but it's also just so much fun. It's so much fun. (laughs) It's so, it's so much. Well, once we get over our camera issues, we are guys, we are not it. (laughs) And that has been, been been made very, very clear. We have a wonderful producer who has been so helpful. He is virtual. Yes. So anytime that something happens in Nashville, in our studio, which is located in Katie's guest house, yes. which is perfect. <laughs> and it's been so fun to put together. But I think that has been for sure our Humbling. biggest learning curve. Yeah. yeah. Is the tech side of it, getting everything set up. Katie and I are both very similar in that when we do something, we're doing it 110%. And so we knew that from the beginning that if we were going to start a podcast, we were going to make it as amazing as we possibly could right out the gate from day one. And as I mentioned before, we know that we also have a lot to learn. We've been interviewed probably more times than we can count. Yeah. Yeah we haven't really ever been the one to do the interviews. It's hard. hard. So that's been a huge learning curve for us as well. So we hope uh, that as we continue along with this, that we're going to continue to grow and learn and get better and better and better at what we do. But it's really humbling, as you said. And also, I think really special to to start new at something. That's not something that you get the opportunity to do a lot, is really be a beginner. And I think the coolest part about that is how quickly you see your progress. Yes. Right? Like when you're starting from ground zero, it's like you really quickly are able to see how much you're growing, how much you're learning. Like even now today, setting up to film, so many things popped up and you and I are doing such a good job at, okay, now we have a running list of, okay, well, let's try this because that worked last time. And then we're going to try this and figure this out. And if nothing works, we call Todd. (laughs) Yeah. Also shout out Todd, my husband for running up here every five seconds. Essentially our (laughs) on-site producer. (laughs) Yes. Yes. But you're, yeah, you're so right. I think that has been, whenever I've been unsatisfied in my life. It's when I haven't felt like I had progression or felt Mm -hmm. like I was striving for something new or felt like I was terrified of something, right? Like this has been exciting, but it's also been terrifying. Like we didn't, we pressed record and we just started going and started talking and people can talk about it, but it's one of those things until you do it, until you're in those shoes, you don't know how it's going to go and you just have to react just like swimming has taught us. And so I think you and I, and you in particular, have done a good job to make us stop and go, wow, like, okay, like, be proud of this moment. We're not perfect. Yeah. It's that that thing messed up and you're thinking about how you could have said this differently or that differently, but take note of mm-hmm. those little wins and over the last four months to think <laughs> where we started and where we are now, like, I, I, I am proud. It's huge. Yeah. And I really do try to put a focus on that because I think if there's one thing my swimming career taught me that has just applied so drastically into every area of my life. It's that we tend to put so much emphasis on the destination. Yes. Where it's the journey 
that's truly what is going to leave its impact and where we're going to learn the most. The destination is great when you get there. Yeah. But looking back, like it's, it's all those moments, all those stepping stones getting there. And so learning and being intentional about enjoying that process. And that for me involves celebrating all the little wins yes. and stopping to recognize like, Hey, wow. Like we couldn't have done that two weeks ago or, yeah. Hey, I wasn't hitting that pace, you know, a month ago and mm-hmm. now I'm hitting it. So you celebrate and you recognize, and then you keep going. And it just really helps for me that motivation and that dedication moving forward when I'm taking the time to recognize my hard work, our hard work, everything you've already accomplished. Yeah. And you kind of get those moments of just being proud of yourself, which I think I'll speak for myself, but I know I need to get better at having those moments where I just sit and I'm like, hey, like you said, it may not be perfect. It may not be exactly what we're looking for right now, but I'm so proud of myself for the effort, for what we've done to get here and for giving our best, which is absolutely good enough. It is absolutely good enough. (laughs) Yes. I mean, and it's also the, to add on like the, the podcast isn't like, it's like there's this big event that we're moving towards. Right. So when you said destination, I'm like, well, I don't really feel like we have like this set That's destination. The cool thing about yes. it. It's just the journey. It's so <laughs> nice. Like it's actually the perfect thing to go through because you're like, okay, I'm just going to do this and that. And, and we don't, we don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. I think in swimming or any other endeavor we've had, there is this, okay, it's the Olympics or okay. Like it's this, you know, next event with this sponsor, but we're just having conversations. This is all we're doing is having conversations. And so I think it's such a shift for us. It's so different, which has felt weird and scary, but it's also, I, I love it. Me too. Yeah. It's so special. And we're so excited to share this with you guys. As we mentioned, this is just our intro episode. So we would love more than anything. If you guys could subscribe to our channels, you'll be able to listen anywhere. You can listen to podcasts and our YouTube channel. So subscribing is going to be huge. This is going to be our first episode. And then we're going to go a month of just exciting intros, lead ups, things like that, just to get everyone excited. We're going to do some giveaways, really, really fun things. And then our first official episode is going to launch on January 3rd, which is a Wednesday. It's the first Wednesday of the new year. And then we will have one episode a week launching every Wednesday. And as we mentioned, we already have amazing episodes lined up for you guys, but we wanted to get this out a little bit early so we could build excitement, so we could generate some of those subscriptions, get people engaged, because we really absolutely cannot wait for you guys to hear what we have in store for you. I've always (laughs) wanted to say that. Like, subscribe. (laughs) I'm sorry. Did I take that? You did. It's all right. (laughs) Guys, like, subscribe. I have a feeling you're going to be able to say it a lot of times. (laughs) I'm such a loser. (laughs) Never. Oh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. We can't wait for the future. We have a lot to look forward to together, and we can't wait to be unfiltered with you. Unfiltered. (laughs) 